I think I may well be the most hardworking man in the conference. Um, I'm a moderator consultant for the conference. Uh, and what I've been doing, I've done eight panels. <laughs> I've interviewed Pedro Winter from Daft, from Daft Punk manager, Busy P, this same guy. I did Tom Tom Club, who are the legendary Talking Heads rhythm section. Uh, I've done, I can't remember half the ones I've done, but there's been eight of them. And I've also been DJing here. I DJed last night at the Future Sound of Brazil party. I'm kind of an honorary Brazilian DJ uh, for the night, but I'm an English. I'm an English DJ producer based in Berlin, and I actually play a lot in Brazil, so I have a lot of connections in Brazil. I also I'm a journalist too, and I supply a website in Brazil with content, uh, which is all about sex, drugs, politics, alternative culture, and that all leaks into what I do here, which is talking about kind of the dance industry and club culture uh, in this years we're in 2010. From all the conference you have done here, which one was the most interesting one? The most interesting panel was definitely Pedro Winter. Um, he's a super intelligent, super witty, uh, very kind of energetic, dynamic guy. Uh, very unashamed to mock himself. Uh, he was talking about, if you look at Pedro Winter's Facebook, uh, you'll see pictures of him in a dragon, furry dragon costume. And he wears furry dragon costumes to DJ, which I think is fantastic. And uh, I did a panel with uh, Tom Tom Club, and Tom Tom Club are these kind of legendary uh, 80s uh, disco uh, kind of pioneers. And they were very interesting because um, we were in the hotel, we were all staying in the same hotel, and DJ Pierre, who's this kind of acid house guy, and we introduced each other in, in the hotel. He was like, oh my god, Tom Tom Club, oh wow, 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 wow. And um, there's a lot of this going on where everybody's kind of heroes, we're all meeting each other, and then Pierre has heroes. And uh, Tom Tom Club were really interesting, they were talking about uh, hanging out with Sid Vicious, Sex Pistol. And they were friends with him back in the day in New York, in CBGBs, and they were saying that Sid Vicious was quite friendly with them, and was quite a nice guy. And uh, again, I find that absolutely fascinating. And um, people from all underground dance culture living their lives in dance culture and that's kind of what I'm doing one way or the other What is your personal overview about the Amsterdam dance event? I really really love this event I think it's uh, I came last year for the first time it's uh, super well organized uh, the people that run it are very nice people they're very easy going they're not into kind of egos or star status or VIP rooms yeah very comfortable and the whole conference is very well organized and very calm and tranquil and uh, it's kind of a it's a conference for uh, small business dance people, DJs, producers, label people and everybody's here kind of doing business connecting and, and it, it's nice I know a lot of people here that I have email connections with um, people I haven't seen for years and uh, yeah it's a really special conference I really like it here. Which day is your favorite? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed the whole thing. I mean, the panels, you know, one, some of them are more difficult than others. Uh, it's the first year I've done it really fully properly, and um, I'm learning a lot from doing that. So, uh, it is a really special conference. There's also parties all over Amsterdam, um, all sorts of music, and uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I'm kind of feeling good now because I've finished, you know, as so I've been working, I have been working like a maniac. So hard, but, um, yeah, yeah, but I'm kind of uh, celebration yeah. of uh, hard work and good job. I mean, all the stuff I get, I buy clothes. Um, I, I got the necklace from my friend in Berlin who has a great shop, and she's a girl called Kalina. My hair, which is completely natural blonde. Um, wow. <laughs> really? No. Really, um, I have some friends in Berlin. They run a they run a shop called Mew, and they're kind of stylists, hairdressers, and they're friends. And uh, they they do me, they do my hair, and uh, my clothes. I actually buy them when I'm traveling normally. So I got this jacket in China. Uh, I got my shirts in London. I got my boots in uh, Vietnam. So I'm kind of um, trying to shop a lot when I'm abroad in really strange places because they're really 
sheep or the clothes that no one else has them so uh, picking up stuff as I go along How do you describe your music style? Uh, I describe it as um, electro kind of techno I I play stuff with a techno energy a lot of power when I'm playing with a Berlin flavor I live in Berlin um, and I'm playing a lot of different styles all mixed together and I'm trying to keep it with a lot of energy I play for girls I play sexy music like really stuff to kind of really dance to but with a lot of kind of uh, real music that's going to grab you Give you a good time, give you a real high. How was your gig last night? My gig could have been better. Um, it was kind of strange because we were there and I was just getting going and then all of a sudden uh, the manager came in and he was like, can you stop the music? The police are here. And um, they were like, okay. And uh, the police came up and basically they were a bit aggressive and they were pushing us around a little bit. and. Uh, they were searching us for drugs, they were searching us for weapons. You know, we were kind of a bit laughing at it because obviously we're very honest, clean living people. And um, it's Amsterdam, and of course there's no drugs in Amsterdam at all. Uh, yeah, which is kind of a strange thing. But uh, yeah, that was a bit of a strange um, interlude. And after 15 minutes, and they were shining a torch in the DJ booth, and they were kind of a bit suspicious of me. I was saying, I'm the DJ. And, they weren't very impressed, so um, yeah, it was a nice little twist and uh, I was with my friends from Exit Festival and I, I do a little bit, a few things with them and they were, they're from Serbia so they're really hardcore people and they were kind of laughing. Uh, how did you start uh, doing music? How did it all begin? I've been a music journalist for like um, about 18 years, I've been a long term music journalist doing all different genres, rock, pop, jazz, uh, TV, radio jobs. I worked for EMI for years doing a website for them in the 90s. I've been running Scruff my own thing for like nine years and uh, you can get Scruff. It's like an easy and a blog on scruff.com which is K and three F's, so it's S-K-R-U-F-F-F. -F -F. Um, and basically uh, I started DJing like six years ago and producing about two or three years ago and I'm kind of living in the industry I'm quite well connected and I do a lot of collaborations with producers so I'm working a little bit with Judge Jules. Did, did you start uh, doing it in Berlin or in England? No I started DJing in London and in London I kind of I kind of came out of the electro clash scene so I was I was really I love the electro clash scene like it really um, I thought it gave Clubland a really great kick and I really like to dress up, I like to wear makeup. And which, which club do you have been I mean, in London I used to play at um, a club called Trailer Trash, which I'm not sure it is. I don't play there anymore, but uh, in other clubs I play, um, I was a resident at Pasha Ibiza last year. Uh, I play uh, Roxy in Prague quite a lot. I'm playing Roxy on Wednesday. Um, in Berlin I play it's a club called Salon de, Salon de Villain Renata, which is this super cool underground club. It's just an amazing building club, and it's kind of like a squat, but it's not a squat. It has the most amazing crowd of people. Uh, totally beautiful, wild, alternative artist people from all over the world. Super hard to get into, but an amazing club. I play clubs like that in Berlin. I agree, I agree. I love Berlin. <laughs> Thank you so much.